Hey everybody, this is Mike from videoblocks.com. Just want to show you a quick tutorial on how you can make a really cool video for your business using our AE or After Effects templates. Okay, so here we are on the website. And we can go up to this category, After Effects, and you'll see a great way to explore. You can get all kinds of different subcategories such as themes for businesses, uh, cinematics, uh, things where you can just show photos. So let's go ahead and say we want to make a really cool introduction for, say, a photography business. All right, so you'll see all of the initial results uh, come up right here, but you can actually filter down here are your subcategories from before. And you can also filter by the most relevant content for your search, most downloaded, highest rated, most recent. So let's just go ahead and see what's new. And you'll see all of the filter down results. So you can just browse and see what you like right here. Okay, that looks cool. Maybe a little much uh, for the photography. Let's go ahead and check this one out. Okay, so this one looks pretty cool. It looks like you can input all of your different photos and a nice slideshow there. So we'll go ahead and just download it right now. It'll go right to your computer. So we can go ahead and open this up and we'll show you how to edit this template. Okay, so when you download the file to your computer, the After Effects project will come in a zip file. You'll need to uncompress the file. So to open that file on a Mac, uh, just double click it and you'll see a folder come up. And on a PC, you want to right click it and choose extract all or extract files to your desktop. So the folder itself will contain a readme file uh, directing you how to edit the template. Um, you'll see a preview movie of the template. Uh, you'll see media that the project contains and a .aep file, which is where we're going to do our work. So we'll just double click that uh, .aep file and your After Effects interface will open. Okay, when your project opens, you may get uh, some pop-up notifications, meaning After Effects just needs to convert to work with your system, or that you might not have the exact font uh, that you saw online in the preview installed on your computer. Uh, so you can say OK and click through this as it won't affect your project in any way. Okay, so now that we've got the main interface open, uh, the main actions that you'll do in these templates are replacing the text and adding your own photos and or videos to placeholders. So the first thing that we want to do is adjust this canvas in the middle here. And the canvas area is uh, your preview of your project for whichever element is selected at the time. Um, so the first step is to adjust the canvas zoom to fit. So we'll just click that. So you can see the, uh, the element that you're working on properly scaled or the entire project uh, to see how the final product will appear. All right, so these templates are organized into scenes and sections. So editing uh, different scenes or animations in the project works sequentially. So you'll see it here on the left side. Um, so in all of our templates, uh, you'll see folders that direct you to edit text and media. Uh, folders on the left uh, typically will be labeled edit text or edit images, but the language varies slightly. So let's just start with editing text. Uh, in the template, you'll uh, see these say quote styles or the custom quotes or text that you want to appear. Uh, you can go ahead and expand the folder and double click quote style one to open the composition. So once it's open, you can double click to edit it and type in whatever custom text that you want. So we'll say uh, Jackson Photography for now, since we're doing a photography uh, site. All right. Okay, and so now that that's done, uh, we can follow the same pattern for each series um, and input your text into the compositions. So we'll just go ahead uh, to skip to the media or pictures to save some time. All right, so next up, editing your media. Um, this one says image slides, so we'll go ahead and open this folder. So scenes one, two, three, et cetera, have placeholders. Uh, so what you can do is right click the image uh, slide composition and choose replace footage. Find the image on your computer to replace and just click OK. Um, you can do this you know, likewise for the remaining scenes, replacing the videos or the photos that you've added to the template. Okay, so once all of your uh, images and your text have been replaced, uh, the last step is to uh, add your own audio if that's something that you want to do. Um, if the template has a section for audio, you can replace it the same exact way by opening the audio folder and expanding that, right-clicking, 
saying replace footage and finding that on your computer. Or you can choose file, import, and then find the track on your computer. So once everything's uh, replaced, all that's left to do is just render the composition. Um, but we can go ahead and just preview that to make sure everything is set the way that we want it. So you can double click the render composition to preview your video before it renders here in the canvas. Um, and you can scrub through the timeline to see the video before you export the final product. Okay, so that looks good. Uh, so to export the video, uh, you wanna click the full render composition. And this might be labeled 1080p or main comp depending on the template. Um, so you want to click render, add to render queue. And your render queue is a holding area to export the video so that uh, you can choose your final settings. So once uh, you see it in your render queue, we recommend compressing the video file so that it's an easier file size for your computer to manage. So in order to do this, we want to click output module and choose the H.264 format. Okay, now that that's done, the next step here is to click uh, output to, and you simply just have to uh, show After Effects what you wanna name the file and where you wanna save it. Um, so generally we recommend just saving it to the desktop. That's always a great choice, easy to work off of. And once you uh, name the file what you want and choose a destination, you can click render here on the right hand side. So that's processing right now and that will render and export to an MOV file. Um, and the times will vary depending on your computer's processing ability and the template itself and how complex it is. So that's rendering right now. So let's go ahead and jump to the final product um, to see uh, what we've made here. Okay, so here's our business video all set to go. We've got our text in place. We've got our photos that are animated in the sequence. So it looks great, a great promotional video. So uh, don't be scared off by the After Effects interface. I know it looks a little complex if it's the first time, uh, but once you get one or two under your belt, uh, they're pretty easy uh, going forward. So if you ever have any questions whatsoever, don't hesitate to give us a call at Videoblocks, or you can email us at any time, and we're happy to help. So thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.